Welcome to iPad Ninja Training. I'm Brady Klein. Today we're doing Adobe Spark page. Let's get started. Find Adobe Spark page and first we've got to get logged in. It's not with Google. It's not with Facebook. Look at the very bottom. You can see a tiny little button that says log in. That's where we want to go. Start by signing in with your email address. That's your normal Google account with at ais.edu.sg. If you've done that correctly, as soon as you tap on the password box, it's going to automatically jump you to another window. And that's where you're going to see your Google sign in. So you have to enter your email address again. Luckily, you all know exactly how to do that. And you all know your password by now. So enter your email, ais.edu.sg, and your password. And if everything works correctly, then you will now be logged in. If for some reason it's not working, you're not going to be able to use Adobe Spark today, but we'll get you sorted out. This is the home screen for Spark page. We're going to take a quick look at one of the examples. How about the Tahiti one? Yeah, looks great. Lots of beautiful text and wonderful images. But let's not spend too much time looking at examples. Let's make our own. Go back to the home page, and at the bottom, you can see a big blue plus. Let's get started there. First, we need a title. All of you have a title for your story. After you've added your title, add a subtitle. This would be a great place to add your name. Now, let's get rid of that ugly gray background. Tap the photo. The great thing about Adobe Spark is that you can find a lot of free images, and today we're only going to use the images we can find for free. No Google images, just the ones they have here. In this example, I'm going to type in just the word sick and pick the first few images I find. You will find much better images. Remember, they don't have to be exactly what you're talking about, but they should set the mood and go along nicely with the story you are telling. Now we're ready to add some text. Scroll up a little bit and you'll see all the options available to you. We're going to start just by clicking the letter A, the text button. When I click the text button, sometimes the keyboard pops up and hides what I'm trying to do. But luckily, we're going to be copy and pasting, so I can just use the little paste button at the top left of my keyboard. So I paste that in there. In this case, I just pasted my email address, but we'll use our Google Doc later. But first, let's go ahead and add some more sections. Let's try the Glide Show. In this case, that adds a few different images, which then I can add text on top of in a real cool scrolling way. Let's give it a try. After I've selected my images for my Glide Show, I get these little gray boxes. I'm going to add a text area to that, and I really want to use my Google Doc now. So I'm going to use the slide over feature. I slide up just a little bit at the bottom, and that's where I can get my Google Docs, and I'm going to drag it up to the right side. And this creates a slide overview. And I already opened my document in Google Docs. So there it is. And I can select the text. I can copy it, move back over, and then I can paste it. And whenever I need to, I can go back to my Google Doc on the right side and slide it over and paste. Here I've scrolled over to the next gray box over the next image. And I'm going to slide over, grab some more text, paste it into the next part of the Glide Show. Remember that there are other things besides just text, images, and glide show. You'll need to experiment a little bit with the different options available to you. For example, there's the option to split the screen with an image on the left and text on the right. Adobe Spark has lots of cool features and it's so easy to use, you can find them on your own. For example, when you're done putting your text in, try the little wand at the top right. That lets you add some themes to everything, changing the color and the feeling of the whole story. When you're done, click the share button. Make sure you turn off the get notice switch. We don't really want to publish that. Then you can click create unlisted link. As it uploads, it'll actually create a web page for you on the Adobe server. After it's done uploading, it also takes the web address or URL and copies it to your clipboard so you can just paste it into Safari. 
We can also use this link to paste into our assignment on Google Classroom. So find your imaginative writing publishing and add the URL. Just click Add Attachment, choose Link, Paste, Add. And then you're all done with your assignment. Click the Turn In button. Congratulations, you're finished. Now that you've mastered Adobe Spark Page, you're one more step closer to becoming an iPad Ninja.